Welcome to another video and today we're actually be using the we're doing the flood assessment so it's the before and after state of the flood uh, using the satellite imagery and we're going to be using the Google Earth engine for this specific purpose so um, for, for for this we're basically be needing uh, a couple things uh, first of all a feature boundary where the flood happened so there was a recent flood um, in uh, 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 in southern Asia including India Bangladesh and Pakistan so we're basically going to be focusing on one specific country uh, for this specific case um, you can focus on all the countries all the provinces we're just going to be focusing on a one country let's say Pakistan and one specific province and we're going to be doing the assessment of that now first of all we need the feature boundaries for the countries uh, so for as we're dealing with the specific country pakistan and um, synth of province so we need the feature boundary now to get the feature boundary you can go to this link we'll be providing that into the description below and you can search for any feature boundary province wise any wise you want um, from this their data set so we're going to you're going to be downloading this specific uh, data set admin shape file if you're doing doing uh, on the same uh, country and province that uh, I'm doing I'm showing here okay so there it's going to be in a in a form of a RAR file you can extract it and keep it anywhere in your PC and let's uh, go to the Google Earth engine we go into the assets we go into shape file we need to select these sources so you're going to select the provincial boundaries and uh, you just don't need the SPX uh, so otherwise you also don't need the XML files that's Google Earth engine doesn't support so we don't need all of the other files we just I just need the provincial boundaries let's upload and we'll go into the task and you'll see uh, it's, it will be starting to upload it's submitted to 100% but it, it is yet not started uh, so it's going to be starting now hopefully yep it's starting now so it's it's going to be done under a minute till then I'll show you the report so the flood actually if you see on the Google uh, the flood occurred from June 14 to October so we're going to be comparing the flood before uh, two months prior to the flood uh, dates and uh, during the flood date so so june july august september four months of this and we're gonna get the previous four months just to see uh, which areas are actually affected by the flood and which were actually the water bodies which were already the water areas that weren't affected by the flood so they were the water area before they're watery now that's not a problem but some areas that were not watery before have water in them now that's the affected flood area this is going to be showing uh, this is the report published by the government of pakistan so we need to reference it we're going to be comparing it with our final model that we will be we're going to be using uh, we're going to be doing it with the satellite imagery so all right uh, it must be done now so our 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 our, our fetched result must to look like something like this more or here too much on here in fact little bit of hair and a little of hair so that's how that's that's how it's going to be looking it's done now let's refresh it and you'll see this is a provincial boundary uh, so in order to import we need import we okay we have, we have created a new script that's not a problem let's call it province we need also the satellite sentinel SAR data we're going to be importing this specific satellite as well Let's call it Sentinel. So, okay. Now, what we need to do, we need to get our specific province, uh, which is synth in our case. So, let's start writing the code. So we can get. We, we first we need to get all of the provinces from the collection. Province. So this is from the table. We get all of the provinces and from all of the provinces we get synth province that is from again all of the provinces we get filter meta data and what we need we need to filter the province and it must to be equals to what 
to sim. You can change it any which you want and it must to be added on the add layer. Synth and let's just say synth boundary. If you can run it, new file. Let's run it. This is the specific province that we're going to be dealing with. Now, as we have a specific province that we're going to be dealing, we have the feature boundary, we have the geometry. Let's get the satellite data for our boundary. Uh, so, let's say filter collection and we say e -E image collection. Let's say sentinel sar data and we need a couple of bounds so we need filter bounds and filter bound must to be provided on the synth again we're fetching the data set for specific province for specific area and we need the filters so these 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 filters you i, I will be providing the code for these filters they are basically uh, the bands and the image properties so we're using the VH uh, band and we're using the properties like um, instrument mode and uh, um, orbit property pass so uh, you can use the same exact for your problem as well it's gonna be working perfectly fine so let's say filter dot list contains it has to transmitter receiver polarization VH. Perfect. Now we need to add a couple of filters. We need to add more filters like this. So it's it must to be EQ and here is to be instrument mode. It is IW. Or it is orbit properties pass. We need two passes descending order. Once the descending order is done, we copy this exact code. And we put it in ascending order. So it's going to be working now, hopefully. Uh, close all the brackets, which we haven't. Okay, we have closed all the brackets now, hopefully. Where, why is this showing an error? Which we need to be careful of. Equal. Okay, so there was equal here. Okay. Yep. This, there was equal. This was over here. And um, I think I've forgotten something. Yep. This line is in here. It's showing just the error. All right, now it's, it won't be showing any error. Perfect. See no error. Now, in order to check that we're actually going in the right direction, we just need to filter on a specific date. We call it um, we call it a good state and a bad state. Uh, that's uh, that's how we're going to be doing it. Okay, so good state is the state before the flood. So let's do that. Let's do filter date. And we're going to be providing the date for 2022. Um, again, it has to start before June somewhere. We're starting it from April. 2022. It has to continue till June and till 10. Again, as from the internet, we saw 13th June is the date where it started all. 
we also need the flood state flood times state i think you name it started from 6th 13 till october so in order to see that we're going in the right direction let's just try to see the size of it if it's other than zero if, this, if it is not zero then hopefully we're doing in the right direction perfect okay now we need to select the specific bands for the image so let's say good image let's call it good, good image and good image is going to be using this we're selecting specific bands vh as i mentioned before we're going to take mosaic of this function and we're going to clip it on our body good image and we're going to do the flood image exactly the same for this okay now we need to take care of two functions uh make sure you just copy it right away i will be providing again these all function in the description as well along with the links uh, so these function are just to convert these images into uh, natural images. So these are specific functions uh, One function is called to natural and the other is to DB. That's what We're going to be using uh, Now um, to use this function um, We can say we're Basically convert these images to filters now good filter a uh, good filter definitely must be related with the uh, E, e image uh, we need to convert it to db and for all the db we need to convert it to refined li that's the function again and that's the function again so these are basically three functions natural and it's going to provide the final good image same exactly we're going to be doing is for the flood filter 2db refined natural flood image and we're going to be closing all the brackets here now in order to see that it must be showing on the um on this area on the map we need to add layer map add layer so we need to add a layer of good filter yes and for that we need min max values which i will be telling you which is exactly what um, let's say minus 25 and let's say max is zero that's it and you can name anything we call it good filter and similarly for flood filter let's call it flood filter let's try run it naturally is not defined it is defined but it is i think with a small t all right so we need to turn off this layer we just don't need this let's focus also there is another command till it loads uh, to focus the map on the specific area that you are working on so as we are working on synth we call it center object to synth. So it's gonna always center it here. So as you can see, there is there's soft image uh, for this. Um, it's that's why it, this this all softness, as you see, is done through mosaic. If I remove it, it's going to be a more sharp image. Uh, anyhow, let's just create a mask now. Let's just let's just know which areas were the water bodies before. Are the water bodies now and which area were dry before were not water bodies before but have water in them now so they are affected by the flood so we are going to be using going to this sector and we just need to check these values we need to check these values these VH values these these sum values we are calling it we just need to check it Okay, so these values are turning out to be the same, which should not be the case because we're using flood state. Now it must be running perfectly. 
okay if you press anything here you see there there these are values in the different so there is a condition you can check on pressing on any point you want just you just will be concluded in, in a minute so let's see what is the flood basically flood is when good filter good filter when good filter is greater than minus 20 which means it has minus 18 minus 17 minus 19 value let's say let's let's find it that is that is minus 19 all right and oops we right and the flood filter oops and the flood filter has less than that is LT we write it minus 20 that is what a flood is so this basically is a f is 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 a flood it's what it, this was this this is the VH band of this before the flood and once the flood came it decreased tremendously so which means it was really very much affected by the flood this area as you can see once we create the final filter this area would be different color all right um, let's create the mask flood mask flood mask is nothing just using the flood and just uh, we need to update the mask on the main image obviously so that's why we're we're calling it equal perfect and in definitely we're going to be doing the same one for water so which is which is which were before before it were water and now they are on water again so which means exactly the opposite it's less than minus 20 they were less than minus 20 and they are also less than minus 20 which means they were exactly the how they are right now and you can use exactly the same lines just use the what mask water water all set we just need to just put that on the layer map add layer and add the flood mask layer um, obviously we're going to be selecting the palette this is the syntax for the palette and uh, you have to also include the brackets and you can say this is the flood water and for this you can just say water mask you can just name it as water body water body means it was before it was water body now it is water body now we need to differentiate it with the color let's call it yellow is for the flood blue is for a simple water body you can color it to red anything you want let's run it this is a simple number that's not required so we don't need sin boundary we don't need these filter we can also use this it just creates let's let's just zoom into it we need to zoom into it let's watch my zoom remember this is what we are comparing it with so it's going to take a little time So as you can see it turned out exactly the same the water the flood affected water uh, flood affected areas much thicker on the top goes light in here again starts to increase here and then there's nothing here let's see here much much thicker here goes light here and there's nothing here nothing here exactly nothing here nothing here a little bit little bit and then it goes a little mm, thicker here little thicker here so if the more I can zoom it the more I can see it better it's gonna take a while to load um, so 
that's how that's how this has been done uh, you can also remove these layers as well you can just see along with the names that it was affected these these cities these these areas and you can also remove the water bodies you can see these specific areas were as you see Hyderabad was very much affected and you know this report actually show us a lot well you see this 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 type of areas are really really very much affected see Larkhan is much affected it's an 800 so if you go into our own credit you see it's filled with yellow it's filled with yellow the specific city so that's how you do it uh, if you have any problem uh, just let me know in the comments below that's all pretty much it for today's video I hope you guys like it. See you in the next one. Peace.